Hey everybody, the Reese Wirrell here, and welcome to the real P of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This game was, I think when I did it the first time, it was actually on an emulator on for the GameCube. Uh, not GameCube, it was the Nintendo 64 emulator. Because a GameCube emulator would not run on my laptop very well. Um, but this time, I'm being all nostalgic. Well, I guess. And I'm actually playing it on my GameCube. So, that's pretty cool. And, oh yeah, I've got a practice file, if you didn't realise. But anyway, I'm going to start a new one, and I'm going to call my dude by my actual name. So, Reese, there we go. Let's do it. The, the opening sequence of this game is like 90% talking though, such as this. In the vast deep forest of Hyrule, long, has a, long have I served as a guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. Also, the first time I did this game, there was a debate of, other, other, there was a debate of uh, whether it was Deku or Deku, but it's Deku. And I'm not actually going to narrate the whole thing because I'm pretty sure you can read it in just a, an amazing voice. In just as an amazing voice as I could. And I've noticed that the brightness might be a bit, <laughs> bit high for the game. It might be, but I think I'll just roll with it because why not? I can always alter it when I next got a record, because I highly doubt I will do this game in one session. I'm not that good, and I don't remember everything about this game. Like, there are some things I have forgotten. I just hope I don't make a really dumb mistake. Which is what I've done both times when I tried to play the game. And that was forgot. Is that I forgot a pretty vital character. Well, I'd say that it was pretty vital, so, you know. Oh no. Malevolent Forthith. Oh dear. I've got the hiccups. That's not a good thing. Yeah, it has. Okay. Oh dear. Yay, the boy without a fairy. That's my dude. That's me. Oh yeah. The only problem with using the GameCube controller, or like the GameCube version, is using a GameCube controller. I'm not used to it. It's very weird to use after playing on an Xbox for God knows how many years now. So, it's quite a change. But it also, it's very loud, like the triggers. They are really loud compared to, um, compared to like, you know, controllers nowadays. Hi. Ah, oh dear. So many memories. Oh, wait, that isn't a good memory. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey. Shut the fuck up, Navi. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. You damn fool. What a fool. Foolish fairy is what Navi is. Hello. Hi. Oh no, the great Deku tree wants to talk. I was having such a good nap. Oh, god damn it. Can this game really rely on such an annoying fairy? That's my question. Look at him. I'm Navi, the fucking annoying fairy. Great. Oh dear. Okay. In the words of Mario, let's -a go. That was awful because my voice kind of broke. <laughs> I'm still not like 
I'm not exactly feeling 100%, but I'm feeling a hell of a lot better. Which is why I decided to record. And this is the game of choice. Hi. Like, I could have recorded something like, I don't know, I could have recorded Bioshock Infinite, Deus Ex, State of Decay, or Metro, but I just fancied being a little nostalgic, to be quite honest, so that's why I'm doing this game. Also, the first thing we should probably do is go and get a sword, but I want to get five rupees. Uh, thank you. You also need to get, uh, 40? Go win, Abby. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you need to get at least 40 rupees for a shield. Because to get to the Great Deku Tree, <clears throat> to get to the Great Deku Tree, you need a sword and shield. And whatever the fuck his name is, he won't let you past if you don't have a sword and shield. So, it's best to get them as soon as. And that's the first thing I do when I get out, is just go Money hunting tactics, which is generally just running around and jumping over them stepping stones gives you 5 rupees. Which is pretty cool. So you know. Yeah! Also doing that gives you 1 rupee. Which is... A lot of money. I'm totally kidding, it's like next to nothing. Whatever. Alright. There's money here? Look at all the money we're getting. Oh, if that had hit me. Hoo hoo. Right. Go up here. Hell yeah! I love the music. It's just so good. You got the Kikiri Sword. This is a hidden treasure of the Kikiri, but you can borrow it for a while. Be sure to practice with it before you really fight. Yeah, that's probably a good a good plan, cause um because I'm not used to the game, I completely fucking suck. Oh shit, I didn't mean to save. Whatever. I saved. Big whoopee. Hey, money. Hell yeah. One of my favorite features, not really from Ocarina of Time, but more so Wind Waker, was just cutting the signs. But I really like that on Wind Waker, and the only reason behind that is because uh, you could actually cut it in so many different directions. Whereas on this, you can mainly only cut it down and across, like that. You can't really do it any other way. Come on, give me a bit more money. I need money. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've got we'll we'll get enough. Thank God. We might make it to the Deku Tree, like probably not in the Deku Tree. We'll make it uh, go away. I don't care about your tutorial bullshit. I wanna get on. Right, let's do this. Yep. Shit. Yes, I wanna buy it. Thank you! Alright, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! Come on! Da, 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 da. Oh my god. Uh, no. I want to at least get past whatever his name is. Is he called Miku? Something like that? I don't remember his name. It might be Mido. God damn it! Every time! Well, we'll make it to him at least. Come on! Actually, it all depends on how long I record for. Whatever. Uh, if you look on my back, you dumb fuck, I have both. Yeah, I do. You like my sword? <laughs> yeah, whatever. I'll beat you to a pulp. He's called Mido. Why did I think Miku? What the fuck is that of? It's because I am a legend. Maybe not a legend now, but I will be a legend later on in this game. I'm gonna say, where are the enemies? Oh no, it's going to attack it. Oh. 
Yeah, that was the Deku stick. Booyah! What's great about this game is... The first ever Deku stick you pick up in the game, you can use for the rest of the game. As in, you won't ever need to get any more Deku sticks.